Good morning to all of you. In this semester, we will see database management systems. Today, I will discuss some introductory concepts related to DBMS. In this introduction, we will see some basic definitions, purpose of database systems and its applications, database users, history of database systems, database architecture, and view of data, data models, and database languages. Let's see some basic definitions. A database is a collection of interrelated data. Here data is collection of facts such as numbers, words, measurements, observations are just description of things. Database management systems. DBMS is a software that interacts with the users and database to create and maintenance of computerized database a database system dbms software together with data itself is called the database system sometimes even user applications also included within this database system let's see all of them in detailed database it really doesn't matter whether you are using paper or computer software program to collect and store the data as long as you are gathering data in some organized manner for specific purpose, it is called database. Some examples may be dictionary, telephone directory, mobile contacts. Information can be stored in different ways. Each of these ways is known as database model. The most commonly used database model is called the relational model. It uses relations to store data. Suppose if you want to store your information means educated students information by using relational database model we will store like this we will store information in the form of tables in relational database data is organized in rows and columns rows are called tuples or records these columns are called domain or attribute all the data within single column are of the same type see here this name all of these names are of type string and here gpa all the values in this gpa column are integer values or floating point data items within one row may be belong to different data types see here uh, this first value is of type integer and second value name which is of type string and gpa floating point value means uh, within row you may have different data types some of the database applications are banking airlines universities sales databases and online retailers manufacturing and human resources let's see the what is the purpose of database systems in early days around 1960s one way to keep information on computer is to store it on operating system files for example if we take university data to maintain information about all students courses grade reports that information was stored on files to allow users to manipulate information the early information system has number of application programs that manipulate the files by using the file system and there were separate programs for to add new students and courses and to generate grade reports and to assign grades to students and gpa new application programs were added to the system as the need arises for example suppose that a university decides to add new branch say computer science as a result the university creates new department and creates new files or add information to existing files the university may need new application programs to deal with the new files related to computer science branch with this kind of file processing system there are many disadvantages let's see drawbacks of using file system to store the data data redundancy and inconsistency same information may be duplicated in several places means within the different files for example if student has double major say 
music and mathematics the address and phone number belong to that student may be stored within the department music and mathematics department this kind of redundancy leads to higher storage and access cost it may lead to data inconsistency means various copies of same data may not be same means phone number is updated within the music department but same phone number is stored within the mathematics department also here is updated mobile number is there but here uh, that is not updated means uh, for same phone number here it is updated value is there within the mathematics department old phone number was there so this is the problem of inconsistency difficulty in accessing data need to write new program to carry out each new task in flat file system we have to read uh, the data line by line it will be difficult data isolation because data scattered in various files and files may be in different formats writing new application programs to retrieve the appropriate data will be difficult since all the data are isolated from each other in different files for example we need to generate a report of student who is studying in particular class his study report his library books details and his hostel information all are in different different files they are of different formats accessing all that information will be very difficult data integrity problems while writing application programs integrity constraints like account balance greater than 0 will be added by using some code rather than being stated explicitly however it is difficult to add new constraints or change the existing ones atomicity problems in many applications it is crucial that if a failure occurs the data be restored to the consistent state that existed prior to the failure for example if we take the transfer of funds from one account to another account it is possible that suppose 500 rupees needs to transfer from account a to another account b this 500 rupees was debited from account a but not credited to account b resulting in inconsistent database state fund transfer must be atomic it must be happen either completely or it should not happen at all it is difficult to ensure atomicity in conventional file processing system the problem of concurrent access by multiple users concurrent access needed for the performance concurrent access means the same data from the same file is accessed by using more number of users at the same time in file system concurrent access leads to incorrect data for example two people reading balance and updating it at the same time in file based system when an application opens a file that file is locked this means that no one else has access to the file at the same time uncontrolled concurrent access can leads to inconsistencies within the database security problems in file processing system it is difficult to provide users access to some portion of the file but not all the data this kind of drawbacks are there with the early information systems database systems offer solution to all the above problems dbms is designed for two main purposes first one to add delete and update the data in the database and second one to provide various ways to view the data within the database dbms is a middleware between the database and the users simplified database system will look like this we already discussed database and dbms commonly called as database system it is different from early information system here this application programs will interact with the dbms software this dbms software will use the file system here this is file system to query the database dbms uses the metadata to retrieve data from the database here metadata stores the 
structure of the database. We have already seen early information system which is based on file system suffers from data redundancy, difficulty in accessing, inconsistency, concurrent access, data isolation, data integrity problems, atomicity problems and security problems. This kind of database system solves all the problems. Using DBMS to manage data has many advantages. No redundancy and inconsistency. It can be reduced data redundancy and inconsistency by minimizing isolated files in which same data are repeated. Redundancy can be removed by the data normalization concepts which is provided by the DBMS. So data inconsistency can also be taken care. Efficient data access. DBMS uses indexes to reach data. It will not treat data line by line unlike file systems. DBMS uses special language called SQL to modify and reach the data easily. So faster response time will be there. There will be no data integrity problems. DBMS will enforce integrity constraints on the data. For example, account balance should be greater than zero can be enforced by using the integrity constraints. Data administration. When several users share the data, centralized administration of the data can offer significant improvement. Reduced application development time. DBMS supports many important functions that are common to many applications accessing data stored within the database. Concurrent access and crash recovery. DBMS schedules concurrent access to the data in such a manner that users can think of data is being accessed by only one user at a time. It can be achieved by using the transaction management. A DBMS protects users from effect of system failures. It can be achieved by using database recovery techniques. Security problems. It is easier to apply access constraints on database systems so that only authorized users is able to access the data. Each user has different set of access. Thus data is secured from issues such as identity theft, data leaks and misuse of data. Means each user within the database may not have same access levels. So data can be protected. Data independence. DBMS provides data independence means application programs are independent from details of data representation and storage. DBMS can also provide abstract view of data. It will provide only necessary details and hides the implementation details. We will see these concepts in more detail while discussing database system architecture. In next class we will see the database architectures and users of database history of database systems and data abstraction and data independence concepts. Finally, we will discuss data models.